at a time when most politicians are caught up in the policies of the past or the issue of the moment, only one man is talking about the future. And as we move into this whole new time period that I think is going to be every bit as changed, notable as was the days of the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, for instance. We're in a computerization, automation, new ways of farming, new research, new ways of production in our factories. We're just moving into a whole new time period that has tremendous advantages for the future if we just set goals and go for it. John Glenn is talking about our future, what America can be. I'm still convinced that this country, if we, if we set our goals and set our values, set our objectives properly, this country can still out-invent, out-research, out-educate, out-produce, out-market any nation on this earth. He doesn't play to the special interests, doesn't play the old political game. It'd be very easy for me to come before a group just like you right here this morning and say, we're going to cut everything off at the border, we're going to protect American jobs, and we're going to make certain that there isn't a single product comes into this country. It's easy to say that during an election period. I think we have to be honest with the American people. I will not promise things that I can't actually try to deliver on once I get there. He's setting an agenda to move us into the future. You know, on the international assessment scores, to compare our students with other students around the world, we rank 10th. We ought to hang our heads in shame. We rank 10th in education in our, uh, with our own kids in this country. Now, what's wrong with saying in 10 years we will be number one in this world in educating our kids, and we can do it? Talking about goals for education, for the research and development of new technologies, a new commitment to rights and opportunities a foreign policy that emphasizes a comprehensive arms control program, a plan to build the economy and turn around the disastrous Reagan deficits. In nine years in the United States Senate, he's shown the courage to set his own course. He doesn't bend to political pressure. He doesn't compromise on principle. The president said they were gonna be there 30 days, period, and then they were gonna come out, and there was nothing would change that. And when the president says that he still does not report to us under the War Powers Act because they are in defensive positions, that has to be about as tortured logic as anything I can think of. I can tell you that the families that just attended funerals from the four Marines that got killed over there and those that have had 28 Marines wounded over there, they certainly think it was combat. I know A commitment that. to peace that comes squarely from the heart. I've been there. I've been shot at myself. My plane was hit on 12 different occasions. I know the terrors of war firsthand. I know what it's like to come back from a mission and sit down and have to write a next of kin letter to people I knew in the States, friends, your husband isn't coming home, your father is not coming home. I know what that's like, and that sears your soul, I can tell you that. I don't want to see combat ever visited again on anybody if we can possibly prevent it. And nobody is going to negotiate any harder for peace than I will. They call him one of the true American heroes. Godspeed, John Glenn. Hurtling through space at five miles per second as the whole world held its breath. He represented America in one of its finest hours, fulfilling the pledge of a young president full of hope and courage and faith in our future. Astronaut, Marine officer, successful businessman, senator. A lifetime dedicated to excellence, dedicated to this country. Got one vote for This is the message he takes forward with his wife Annie by his side, talking about what we can do, not what we can't, not just promising what he'll do for you, but telling you what we can do together. This is a time to set a new direction. It's a time to begin setting goals again for this country. It's a time to challenge the American people. This is John Glenn. To give their best. It's a time, in short, for our nation to once again reach for greatness. John Glenn for president. Believe in the future again.